So before we begin this video, I want to show you how you can get many full-length FL Studio courses and music production courses within FL Studio for free. If you go to music-prod.com, you can get a 7-day free trial for all of these courses. You can watch them in a go if you want to. There's sample packs and presets included as well. So this test is going to be between two different Mac machines. It's going to be between the new Mac Mini M1 8-core processor with 8 gigabytes of RAM. That's the baseline model as of now for the Mac Mini 2020. Then I'm going to compare this with the maxed out iMac 27-inch i9 10-core processor. And that system is with 64 gigs of RAM. So uh, a baseline cheap Mac model versus a very uh, pricey, almost pro iMac Pro kind of uh, performance that I'm going to compare to each other. So let's see how this goes. Okay guys, so here is an empty FL Studio template. I'm going to test this out first with the first project that I'm going to use. It's a demo project that comes with FL Studio. So we're going to go with this Adam Shabo one day funky mix. Let's open this up. You can see the loading time is pretty much the same as uh, on the iMac. So there's no uh, really difference there. Okay, so now we have audio settings. If we go to audio settings here, we can see buffer length is a short one. It's 12 milliseconds. So I'm going to have it like this for now. And let's just play the track and see how uh, well or how bad the M1, the Mac Mini M1 handles this. Yeah pretty bad as you can hear um, as soon as there's uh, some more like bigger elements going on in the project uh, FS Studio basically almost crashes on me uh, it's that bad um, let's try it out yeah I can't even play it so if I go to audio settings and put the buffer length to the maximum like that let's play it now Uh, it's still, you can't really do anything uh, with this project file. So this one was the lighter one. I'm going to show you another demo project that I'm using uh, for this test. And it's the Fuego 96 Time Flies, which is also a demo project that comes with FL Studio. And if I open this up, you can already now see the loading time is a bit longer. So let's play this out on the... Maximum buffer length first. Already struggling. Works okay. Yeah. Not usable at all here. So I'm going to make this shorter again. And you can hear it's it's crap. Okay guys, so now we're in the iMac 27 inch 2020 i9 10 core computer. So I'm going to uh, open up Adam Shabo one day funky mix. Let's try this out and let's see how this goes. Uh, we now have the options audio settings set at 11 milliseconds, so pretty short. Um, let's play this and see how this goes. So as you can see, it's uh, working flawlessly. I have no hiccups. The CPU is very, very low. You can see it's not even at 10% uh, here in FL Studio showing um, with the CPU and the ROM is also as well very, very low. Uh, this computer handles FL Studio like a beast. So uh, I'm not recommending FL Studio for anyone 
if you want to use M the M1 chip as of now. It's not at all optimized for the M1 chip as of now. And the FS Studio has always been built through uh, the Windows systems from the beginning. So it, it the Intel systems always is always going to have um, a leap forward here. So uh, that is what I'm, why I'm not going to recommend the M1 processor for anyone that wants to use FS Studio. I'm going to just for the test here show you the Fuego 96 Time Flies project as well. And uh, just because we did that on the Mac Mini. And uh, yeah, let's try it. Flawlessly, without any hiccups, any errors, any crackle sounds or anything like that. So, okay guys, see you in the next video.